Hi, welcome to class. So, grade one, mathematics. Today, we're going to join teacher Joseph's class to get to learn about how to order and sequence. You know how to order this after this after this. We're going to order from the smallest to the biggest. Do you know how to do that? Moving from the smallest up to the biggest. You arrange them according to sizes. So like this one, look at these cups of ours. We're going to arrange from the smallest Smallest, small, small, biggest. We're going to learn with uh, the children in Teacher Joseph's class. Enjoy and get to learn how to go up, 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 up. Good morning, class. Good morning, Teacher Joseph. And how are you? I'm fine, thank you. I hope you're also fine. Now, in our today's lesson, we are going to learn about numbers. And in numbers, today we are going to look at arranging objects according to their sizes. Are we together? Yeah. We are going to arrange different objects according to their sizes. And we are going to arrange them according to smallest going to the largest. We will start with the smallest object. We arrange it up to the largest object. Are we together? Yes. So I have some items here and I want to show them to you. So with me here, I have three balloons. How many balloons can you see? Three. Three. And if you look at them, they are not of the same sizes. Are we together? Yes. Are they the same? No. No, they are not the same. Cindy? Yes. Now look at the red balloon. Is it small, small or big? Big. Now look at the one that I'm holding here. I have two balloons, the yellow one and the purple one. Which one is the biggest among these two? Yeah. The yellow one. Cindy, yeah. what can we say about this one here? Smallest. It is the smallest balloon. So we are going to arrange these three balloons and we are going to start with the smallest balloon. Are we together? Yeah. Now look at these three balloons. Which one is the smallest? The purple one. You think the red one? The purple one? Very good. The purple one is the smallest. So we are going to put the purple balloon here. We are going to arrange them here. So we start with the purple one because it is the smallest. Now, after putting the purple balloon here, we, we are remaining the two balloons. We have the yellow one and the red one. Now, between the yellow one and the red one, which one is the smallest? Which one is the smallest? Yellow. So the yellow one is the smallest, so we are going to put it next to the purple balloon. So we say the purple balloon is the smallest, followed by the yellow balloon. Sorry. Mm -hmm. And then lastly, we have the red one. Look at the red one, it is the biggest, isn't it? Yes. So we are going to put it next to the yellow balloon. There. Now look at them. So we have started with the smallest, which is the purple balloon, followed by the yellow balloon, and then the red one is the largest. Are we together? Yes. So this is how we arrange from the smallest going to the largest. The second example, I'm going to use my books. I'm going to use my books. So I have three books here, and I hope you can see them. Look at my books. Can you see them? Yes. Can you see the books? Yes. Uh-huh. Now, look at these three books. We have the exercise book, we have the textbook, and then you have the distinction here. Now, among these three books, which one is the smallest? That one. This one here. See you? Yes. So we are going to start with the smallest book. So the smallest one, we will put it there. So we have the smaller book. Now I'm remaining with two books, the textbook and the distinction. Between the textbook and the distinction, which one is the smaller one? This one. This one. This one. Yes. Very good. So it will be followed by the textbook there. 
And then lastly, we are going to have the what? The distinction because it's the largest ones in here. So we are going to have it there. Now, look at the board. We have said you are arranging from the smallest to the largest. On the balloons, we have the smaller one, the purple one, followed by the yellow balloon. And lastly, we have the largest one, which is the red balloon. When we come to the books, which one is the smaller one? This one here, followed by the textbook. And then the largest one is the? Are we together? So this is how we arrange different, uh, different items according to their senses. Are we together? Yes. In the exam, you'll be given different objects, and they will get it to arrange them according to the smallest, going to the largest. How many will get it? Very good. So this is how we are, going, this is how we are supposed to do what? To arrange them. Is that okay? Now, we have the second example. Now if you look at uh, what we have here, so we have started from the smallest to the largest. Also in the exam, they can tell you to arrange according to the largest going to the smallest. Largest to the smallest. It's the opposite of what we have here. If you look at the red balloon, it's the largest, followed by the yellow balloon, and then the smallest one is the purple balloon. So if they tell you to arrange from the largest to the smallest, you'll start with this one, followed by the yellow balloon, and then we have the purple balloon. If you are arranging the books according to the largest to the smallest, the, the largest one is the, the big book here, the distinctions, isn't it? Yes. Followed by the textbook, and then the exercise. Book. Are we together? Yes. Now, in the third example, you can also be given different numbers. You know numbers from number one up to number ten, isn't it? Yes. So you can be given numbers like this one, you are given number four, we have number two, and then we have number six. And they tell you to arrange from the smallest to the biggest. Look here, we have number four, four number two, two, and number six. Now when you have number four, number two, and number six, which number is the smallest there? Two. two. Very good. Number two is the smaller number. So after writing number two, you are going to cancel it here. Now you are remaining with the number four and number six. Between number four and number six, which one is the smaller number? Four. Very good. Number four is the smaller number, so it will come here. And then lastly, you are remaining with one number, which is number six. six. So number six will be here. So when you are arranging numbers, you start with the smaller number, which is number two, followed by number four, and then lastly we have number six. six. Let me give you another example where you are told to arrange numbers. So we have these numbers. We have number 10, we have number 5, and we have number 20. Now, when arranging these three numbers, which one is the smallest number? 5. 5, very good. So we are going to start with number 5. five. Now, after writing number 5, you are remaining with number 10 and number 20. 20. Number 10 and number 20. Now, between number 10 and number 20, which one is the smallest? 10. Very good. Number 10 is the smallest. And then the largest number here is number 20. 20. Very good. So that's how we are in. That's how. Yeah. Is it easy or harder? Easy. Very easy. Isn't it? Yeah. Easy like what? Easy. Easy like? Easy. Easy? Easy. 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 Very 